Top Shots Fired. Today I will be talking about the Springfield Armory Tactical Response Pistol, aka the TRP. The model number for this pistol is PC9105L. Before I get into the pistol, I'm going to show you guys what hearing protection I've been using lately. And right here I have Walker Silencer Hearing Protection. This is electronic hearing protection that takes small batteries right here. Basically, it's an earbud that goes inside your ear canal. You have a little piece right here that hooks to the outer ear to keep them in place. And you have a little power button here and volume control here. So basically, once you turn these on, the gun sound will be reduced, but you'll still be allowed to hear people talking around you. Today I was firing the Arms Corps Precision 230 grain full metal jacket, which was a gift from my daughter. Shout out to my daughter T. Appreciate that. Today I was using the McCormick Power 10 magazines and the Wilson Combat magazines, which these are said to be some of the best. I have not had any problems at all with these. This pistol has an empty weight of 45 ounces. It has a height of 5.7 inches. It has a length of 8.6 inches. It has a national match frame, slide, and barrel. It came with G10 grips, but they were the gray ones, which I felt were a little wider than these. And basically, my first 1911 was the TAC Ultra by Rock Island Armory, and it had these same grips. And I really liked the way they felt. I liked the width of them and everything, so I decided to get a set to put on here. Um, you also get a magwell with this pistol. You get checkering on the front strap and the main spring housing, which is 20 lines per inch. You get an accessory rail. So you can basically set this gun up however you want. On the pistol, you get three dot adjustable tritium sights. And it's said to have a 4.5 to five pound trigger pull but it feels really light. 